Welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials and in today's tutorial I have a really neat trick for you to create a searchable athlete drop down list. This is going to be a really powerful trick when we move on to creating some fitness testing result and monitoring dashboards in the future but to give you an example of how this is going to work I have a list of athlete names down the side here and I have a drop down list where I can select any of their names. If I want to further narrow that down if I was to select one of the athletes for example, Axel, when I go to the drop down list, only their name is going to show up. You can see how this will become really powerful when we move on to other projects. So let's get after it. Okay, so let's create our searchable drop down list that we can use in many different projects. And to get started here, what you'll see is I've just outlined a few things here. I have a list of athlete names. Um, I have a row or a column where I'm going to filter the names into and then I have a highlighted cell here where I'm actually going to put my drop down list. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to use um, a newer Excel feature which are or which is called a dynamic array and what a dynamic array does is it actually changes size to the amount of data that you have in the array and an array is a collection of data in this case it's going to be our athlete names. So to get started here the first thing I'm going to want to do is in order to make um, the data or the athlete names very easy to reference I'm just going to format these as a table <clears throat> and we've done this in other projects so we should know how to do that by now you just go to home and then I'm going to select format as table and I'm going to select this one and my table has headers so I'll hit OK. And then if I want to know what the name of my table is, if I go up to the top here, I'll see table design and under table name, you'll be able to see what that is. Okay. And then if I want to reference um, the columns in this table, I can hit table two. And if I hit a square bracket, I can select the athlete names category and then close that off. And what you'll see is it's actually going to print out all of the athlete names. So whenever I'm referencing a column in a table, it'll give me all of that data. And I only had to type that in once and you can see that it printed them all out all the way down. And you'll see that when I go to the first row in this um, reference, <coughs> the equals table two athlete name is highlighted in black. But as I go down, it actually changes to a gray color. And what this means is that it's spilling over the data from the initial reference all the way down. So that's an important concept for what we're going to do um, with our searchable drop down list. So what I need to do is I need to actually create a column where I'm going to filter these values. And the first thing I'm going to look for is I'm going to reference this yellow cell and look for the values that I type in there and see if they exist in these names. So an easy way to do that is I'm going to use the search function. So I'm going to put equals search and then bracket and the find text that I want to find is going to be typed in this yellow um, cell here and then I'll hit comma and I'm going to select athlete names and I'm going to close that off and hit OK. So what you'll see is is it's there's nothing typed in here so every um, every value here is going to be one but if I start to type something in say Axel all of them are going to give me back an error except for the one um, that has the name Axel in it. So the next thing I'm going to try to do is actually instead of have these be numbers is I want to turn them to true and false values. So an easy way to do that is if I just take this formula that I typed in up top and I'm going to just check to see if it is a number and if it is it's going to be true and if it isn't it's going to be false. So I'll type in the formula is number and I'm just going to wrap that in brackets. So now what you'll see is those are all true, but again, if I was to type in Axel, I'm going to get false all the way through and then true for the one that matches Axel. So that's interesting. Now what I want to do is I actually want to filter out any of the values that are false and I only want to keep the ones that are true. So an easy way to do that now is I'm going to wrap that whole formula in a filter function. 
and a filter function allows me to take data and filter it out based on criteria. So I'll type filter and then bracket. And the array that I want to look at is athlete names. And I only want to include the ones, so comma, and I only want to include the ones that are a number. Okay, so we've already got the is number function in there. And then if I put um, a comma at the end, it's going to ask me here, what, is it, what do I want it to do if it's empty? And what I want it to actually do is I want it to show me the value not found. So I'm going to put quotations not found and quotations and wrap that up in um, a bracket and I'll hit enter. And you can see I have nothing typed in, so it's actually going to give me um, the whole or all of the names. But then if I type in something like an A, it's going to filter out all the names that don't have an A in them. Or if I wanted to look for Axel, it's going to filter out um, all the names that are not Axel. So you can see how this might become really powerful. If I was going to look for, let's say, Kale but I only could remember the first letter. I could type in C and it's gonna filter out all the ones that do not have a C in it, okay? So now what I wanna be able to do is actually start to type a value in this dropdown list and then be able to select the name from that dropdown list. So what we need to do now is make this cell a dropdown list. And if you'll remember from other videos, we're gonna to go to data, data validation and we're gonna make it a list but our list reference is actually gonna be the filtered values. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click this up arrow and I'm gonna select the cell where I type the formula in, which is B4. And then if I type a hashtag there, what that's going to do is actually reference all of the spilled over data as well. Or if you'll remember, all of the formulas that are in light gray. And then I'll hit okay. And the other thing that I want to be able to do is actually type in the box. So I need to turn off the error alert. So if I don't turn off the error alert, it won't allow me to type any other values in there. But now that I've turned it off, I'll actually be able to type in the box. So what you'll see is I'm going to type in Axel or sorry, I'll show you how this works first. So what you'll see is I have a normal um, array or sorry, a normal drop down list that I can reference and if I were to type in Axel, as soon as I go to click on here, it's going to have filtered and the only name I'll be able to select is Axel. Okay. Or similarly, if I was searching for a value, if I typed in, say, um, A because I wanted all the names with A in them, and then I went to search, it's going to filter out all the names that do not have an A in them. So if you had huge athlete lists, this might be a really... Um, useful trick if you wanted to filter out names to make something like a monitoring dash dashboard or say testing results sheet or something like that. And we're going to actually use this function moving forward as we start to create some dynamic charts so that we can display different testing data and different fitness um, qualities for our athletes. But this is just a quick trip or a quick tip to um, help you filter out some names when you're trying to do a drop down list. If this, if this video has helped you out, please share it or follow me on social media at DSM Strength. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and if, you're, if you'd like to follow the channel, please subscribe, share it with your friends, um, and I'll see you in the next video.